and gentlemen, students, our esteemed contestants, welcome to the Sharks Season 7, the Junior High School Edition. My name is Yaba Hafar, and as always, I'm so pleased to be here as your guest host. Today, we have two magnificent teams before us, and we look forward to getting to know them and beginning this competition. So, why don't we begin with the school to my right? Can you kindly let me know your names, your school, and how you've been preparing for today? My name is AJ Alit Safwa Yenai. My name is Brian Asaramant Yenai. I'm Etiemo Lidia Yenai. I'm Ufus Ben Adamatefiu Yenai. Okay, and how have you been preparing today? So well, uh, we are ready for this challenge. You're ready for the challenge. I like to hear that. A round of applause for them, please. And the school to my left. Tell us about yourselves, please. I am Edwin Aiko Okansi, year eight. Okay. I am Adai Kumi Jonathan, year eight. Leslie Danko Asumeni, year nine. Ivan Isuma, year eight. Okay, welcome. And how about you? How have you been preparing for today? Excellently. Excellently. What does excellently mean? <laughs> we are 100% prepared. Okay, fantastic. Um, and as always, I do want to say a big thank you to the educators who have been preparing these students for today and just their educational careers and for their parents as well. Without you, we wouldn't be here. So thank you so much and keep up the good work. So we are about to dive right into the competition. As you know, there are four rounds, our right corner round, our R cubed round, our stemmed round, our stem round, and our last one-on-one -on -one G money round. We will begin with the right corner round. My understanding is there was a coin that was tossed and the team that will begin is St. Peter's JHS. Are you ready? Okay, so our right corner round. Each school has two minutes to answer eight questions on social literacy. Every question answered correctly will attract 10 points and there's no penalty for giving a wrong answer. Shall we begin? Which countries use the following currencies? The Quacha. Pass. The Real. Pass. The Dong. Qatar. That's incorrect. It's Vietnam. The Bolivar. Pass. Okay. In which African country can we find the Suez Canal? Egypt. That's correct. Which two Egyptian towns occupy either end of the Suez Canal? Suez and Alexandria. We can give you half point for Suez. The other is Port Said. Countries and their current leaders. Who is the current leader of Botswana? Pass. Who is the current leader of the Seychelles? Pass. Okay, let me go back to the questions that you passed. Which countries use the following currencies? The Kwacha? Swaziland. That's incorrect. Zambia. The Rial? Iran. That's correct. Along with Yemen and Oman. The Bolivar? Bolivia. Venezuela. And then countries and their current leaders. Who is the current leader of Botswana? Okay. So time is up. The current leader is Mokgwetsi Masisip. And the Seychelles is Wavel Ramkalawamp. So, a round of applause. That was a good round. And let's move to Okapuman Basic School. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Your first question. Which two South African provinces take their names from rivers? Pass. In which African country can we find the Mercato open market? Pass. Currencies and their respective countries. The Vatu. Pass. The Manat. Pass. Bat. Pass. And the Corona. Pass. Okay. Countries and their current leaders. Who is the current leader of Cote d'Ivoire? Captain Ibrahim. Say it again. Captain Ibrahim. That's incorrect. It's Al Hassan Utara. And Senegal, the current leader? Mikisal. Sorry? Makisal. That's correct. Well done. Okay, and back to the questions you passed. Which two Af South African provinces take their names from rivers? Nato and Pretoria. No, it's the Orange Free State and Transvaal. In which African country can we find the Mercato open market? South Africa. 
No, it's Ethiopia. Current currencies in their respective countries. The Vatu. Colombia. Say it again. Colombia. Uh, Vanuatu. The Manat. Vietnam. Azerbaijan. The the Bat. Iraq. Thailand. And the Krona. That's Sweden, Denmark, or Norway. Okay, this was a tough round, um, but well done. A round of applause to both teams. Well done. We have a switch coming, so if we can kindly welcome the newest member of the team. There we go. Can you please introduce yourself? My name is Benedicta Esu. Basic welcome. Nine. Basic Nine. Welcome, Benedicta. A round of applause for her, please. Okay. At the end of round one, Okwapiman Basic School has 10 points and St. Peter's JHS has 25 points. A round of applause. We move on. Round two, R cubed. In this round, questions will focus on reading, writing, and arithmetic. Each school will be posed a question. A right answer will attract 10 points. A wrong answer will result in a deduction of five points. If your school gets an answer wrong or does not attempt a question, it will be passed on immediately as a bonus to the competing school for a maximum of five points for correct answer or a deduction of five points for a wrong answer. Is that clear? This preamble is to both schools. Give the best explanation for the following idioms. We'll begin with Okwapiman. To be lost in the clouds. Is it A, to meet with one's death? B, to be perplexed? C, to be concealed from view? Or D, to find oneself in a very uncomfortable position? B. That is correct, to be perplexed. <laughs> St. Peter's, your question. To flog a dead horse. Is it A, to act in a foolish way? B, to waste one's efforts? C, to revive interest in an old subject? Or D, to revive old memories? B. That is correct, to waste one's efforts. <laughs> Okwapiman, back to you. Hush money. Is it A, money overdue? B, easy money? C, money earned by wrong means? Or D, bribe paid to secure silence? C. That's incorrect. Would you like to try? D. D, that's correct. Bribe paid to silence, uh, secure silence. St. Peter's, your main question. To pay one back in the same coin, is it A, to provoke a person to quarrel? B, to offer another polite explanation? C, to retaliate? Or D, to give a word of encouragement or praise to another? C. C, to retaliate, that is correct. Okay, Okwapiman Basic School, and this preamble is for both schools. Choose the best antonym of the following words. Friend, A, rival, B, acquaintance, C, foe. Foe. That is correct. St. Peter's, diverge. A, repulse, B, converge. converge. C, that is correct, well done. Okwapiman, back to you, allure. Repulse, A, repulse, B, develop, C, entice, or D, decoy? D. D. Say it again. D. That is incorrect. Would you like to try? The answer is repulse, A. St. Peter's, crass. A, gross, B, refined, C, coarse, or D, dense? Refined. That is correct. Well done. Now let's do some maths. Please have your pens, papers, and minds ready. Okwapiman, what is Kofi's present age? If after 30 years, his age will be 15 times his age 15 years back. Is it A, 16.2, B, 17.7, C, 18.2, or D, 15.4? 16.2. 16.2. That is incorrect. 
That is incorrect. The answer is 18.2. St. Peter's, your main question. Ama is 18 years older than Robert. If eight years ago, Ama was six times as old as Robert, then find Ama's present age. Is it A, 32.5, B, 27.5, C, 29.6, or D, 24.9? Would you like to try? No. Okay, the answer is tw uh, C, 29.6 years. Okwapiman, your question. Auntie AC is 18 times older than her daughter Enima. If Enima is six years old, what is Auntie AC's age? Is it A, 98, B, 110, C, 90, or D, 108? One hundred and eight. That is correct. Well done. <laughs> St. Peter, your question. A father's age seven years ago was 11 times the age of his daughter. At present, the father's age is seven times that of his daughter. Find the daughter's present age. Is it A, 17.5, B, 18.2, C, 23, or D, none? Would you like to try? Pass. The answer is A, 17.5. Okwapiman, your main question. 12 years ago, M was half of N in age. If the ratio of their present ages is 4 is to 5, what will be the total of their present ages? Is it A, 30, B, 35, C, 36, or D, 32? Time's up. Would you like to try? 30. The answer is 36, C. Okay, St. Peter's, your question. The sum of the ages of a mother and a son is 54 years. Eight years ago, the product of their ages was six times the mother's age at that time. The present age of mother and son is A, 34 and 17, B, 14 and 40, C, 40 and 14, or D, 50 and 17. The sum of the ages of a mother and son is 54 years. Eight years ago, the product of their ages was six times the Eight, mother's age. 37 and 17. That is incorrect. Would you like to try? Pass. Okay. C, 40 and 14. Okwapiman. Mary is 32 years older than her son, Daniel. In four years, her age will be twice the age of her son. The present age of her son is A, 26 years, B, 28 years, C, 22 years, or D, 24 years. Pass. Okay. Would you like to try? Pass. Okay. The answer is B, 28 years. St. Peter's, the last question in this round. The sum of the current ages of a father and his son is 84 years. Seven years ago, the father's age was three times the age of his son. In seven years, what will the son's age be? Is it A, 35 years, B, 28 years, C, 56 years, or D, 53 years? That's time. Would you like to try? The answer is A, 35 years. A round of applause for this round and our contestants. I think by now the brains have been fully exercised and we're ready to move on. Okay, we're going to change. Okwapiman School is switching someone out. Please come and join us. Kindly introduce yourself. You're what? Romeo Mantia on two assets. Romeo, welcome. Oh, welcome for Romeo, please. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so the results are in. At the end of round two, we have Okwapiman Basic School with 15 points and St. Peter's with 30 points. A round of applause. Well done. So we move on to our STEM round. In this round, questions will be posed to both schools. Schools can buzz in at any time while questions are being read for a maximum of 10 points for correct answers and a deduction of 5 points for a wrong answer. Questions will be read in full and immediately passed on to the other school for a chance at a bonus worth 10 points for a right answer or a deduction of 5 points for a wrong answer. Shall we begin? The first question. In the realm of quantum physics, there exists a class of subatomic particles known as hadrons, which include familiar examples like protons and neutrons. These fundamental components of atomic nuclei are not indivisible, but are instead composed of even smaller particles. What are the names of these smaller particles that constitute hadrons, such as protons and neutrons? Is it A, quarks? B, electrons, C, bosons, or D, leptons. That is time, the answer is A, quarks. Okay, next question. Identify all of the following three objects that are known to have a dipolar magnetic field. One, Earth. Two, Jupiter. Three, Earth's moon. Earth, Jupiter, Earth's moon. Is it one and two? B, one and three? C, two and three? Or D, one, two and three? Yes. One and two. That is correct, A, one and two. <laughs> Next question. At what temperature do the Celsius and Fahrenheit scales have the same value? Is it A, negative 40 degrees? B, negative 32 degrees? C, zero degrees, or D, 100 degrees? Yes. Negative 40 degrees. That is correct. Well done. Next question. Imagine traveling back in time, billions of years ago, to the ancient oceans of early Earth. The water teems with a variety of microscopic life forms, setting the stage for an incredible journey of evolution. Among these early inhabitants, one group stands out as the very first to call these primordial waters home. What is the name of this pioneering group of organisms? Was it A, protozoa, B, algae, C, bacteria, or D, fungi? Algae. That is incorrect. Yes? Bacteria. That is correct, bacteria. <laughs> Next question. Which of the following are not found in prokaryotes? and eukaryotes? Is it A, flagella, B, ribosomes, C, mitochondria, or D, plasma membrane? Yes? Plasma membrane. That's incorrect. Time is up, it's mitochondria. Next question. This molecule is integral to the storage of these codes and is key in the process of cell division ensuring the accurate duplication and distribution of these codes to offspring cells. Given its critical role in genetics, identify this molecule. The answer is DNA. Deoxytribose nucleic acids. Next question, which of the following statements is true? For a heavy element to be stable, the number of protons typically equals the number of neutrons. B, that was A. B, the faster a boiling uncovered pot of water boils, the hotter the water becomes. C, cellulose is an example of a natural polymer. Or D, the speed of light is always the same. Go ahead. D. D. D, that is incorrect. The answer is C. Cellulose is an example of a natural polymer. Next question. These structures are embedded within the maxilla and mandible. For the point, name these calcium-rich structures, such as the bicuspid and molar, responsible for breaking up food. Yes? Teeth. Teeth. That is correct. 
next question. A carbohydrate contains 15 oxygen atoms. How many hydrogen atoms does it contain? A, 30, B, 15, C, 50, or D, zero? Yes. Zero. That is incorrect. The answer is 30. Okay, next question and last question. The largest internal organ in the body produces a... Yes. Liver. Please say it into the mic. The liver. That is correct, liver. Okay, and that brings us to the end of round three. A big round of applause for our contestants. Very well done. Okay, so at the end of round three, the results are in. We have St. Peter's with 10 points, and we have Okwapiman Basic School with 20 points. Round of applause. And that brings us to round four, our one-on-one -on -one round, also known as the G-Money round. In this round, each school will receive 50 CDs from G-Money for every correct answer they give. To get your G-Money wallet now, dial star 422 hash. So the rules of this round, we pair up one team member with the counterparts from their other team. You'll face questions in English, math, science, and general knowledge. For each right answer, schools can score 10 solid points and some money. And don't worry, there's no point deduction for a wrong answer, so kindly answer the question. So we'll begin with our English experts, so if you can kindly stay on the stage while everybody else waits backstage. Okay, Lydia Esuman, shall we begin? Yes. Choose the best synonym that complements the following words. These are the following words. Eager, keen, and zealous. Choose from the words I'm about to give you now. A, irate. B, fervent. C, clamorous. D, discrepant. Yes? Fervent. That's correct. Okay, your next question is in the same, the same uh, type of question. So your three words are noisy, boisterous, vociferous. And I want you to add one more word to what I just mentioned. Noisy, boisterous, vociferous. Choose from the following. A, irate. B, fervent. C, clamorous. Or D, discrepant. Yes. C. That's correct. Well done. Thank you. Okay, can we please have our mathematics group join us? Okay, so we have Jonathan and we have Adelaide here to show off their maths chops. Shall we begin? The average or mean of a list of 10 numbers is zero. If 72 and negative 12 are added to the list, the new average will be? Yes. 8.4. That's incorrect. Yes? 50. That's incorrect. The answer is 5. Okay. Moving on to the next question. In an election, Harold received 60% of the votes and Jackie received all the rest. If Harold won by 24 votes, how many people voted? Yes. 40 people. That's incorrect. Okay, the answer is 120. Thank you so much, maths team. Can we please have the science group join us on stage? Okay, so we have Leslie and Brian. Your first question. By Ohm's law, voltage over resistance is equal to this quantity. This quantity is symbolized by the letter I and is measured in amperes. Name this quantity. Yes. Electricity. That's correct. Or an electric current. Good job. Next question. Imagine you're a scientist in a laboratory surrounded by beakers and test tubes filled with various substances. Your task is to identify which among the following are not a salt. You have four beakers named W, X, Y, and Z on your lab bench. W is potassium hydroxide. 
X is potassium bromide. Y is magnesium chloride. Z is calcium carbonate. Yes? P potassium bromide. That is incorrect. The answer, yes? C, magnesium. That is incorrect. The answer is potassium hydroxide. Thank you. Okay. Our general knowledge group, welcome to the stage. So, I'd like you to identify this personality when they appear on the screen. Yes? The president of Kenya. That is correct. That's the prime minister of Kenya, William Ruto. Well done. The next is also, will also be on the screen. What is the title of this Netflix movie? Yes? The Woman King. That's incorrect. The answer is The Black Book. Okay, round of applause. Very well done. Thank you so much. I'd like to invite everybody back on the stage. That brings us to the end of round four. Okay, so the results at the end of this round are in. We have 20 points each for both teams. St. Peter's has 20 points and Okwapimam Basic School has 20 points. Each school has won 100 CDs for their schools. Well done. From G Money. Okay, so at the end of the contest, we have Okwapiman Basic School with 65 points. A round of applause. And we have our winner, St. Peter's, with 85 points. A round of applause. Job well done to both of you. I want you to remember that today is, it's about the competition, but not just about the competition. It's about embracing the joy of learning and remembering to always push your boundaries. And that's what you've done here today. And so very well done, very well done. We hope to see you next time. We look forward to seeing you again. And thank you so much to our audience and in the, in the studio and also at home.